Ow. No, that is not my jump, actually. That is... That is bad. That was a bad jump. That was a bad move. That was better. You see, it was better because I actually made it. Hello, and welcome back to... Um... Brain has dumb. Parkour Helix 2. Nailed it! Uh, where we last left off, I cleared through some parkour. You'll never guess what we're gonna do today. If you if you said develop an, an alcohol problem, correct! Oh. Come on. There we go. So I'm really liking this map. I So I've come to realize that parkour maps kind of give me an option to almost turn off my brain a little bit, you know? Wait, I think I went... Yeah, I think I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Hold up. I jumped up here. Jumped here. Wait, where do I go? Oh, I must have to go over there. How do I get over there? Wait, what? Oh. That. That right there, my friends, is one hell of a jump. How on earth did I make that? But as I was saying, I I'm really starting to enjoy uh, parkour maps. You know, at first I thought I would... There's no way I would ever... At first I thought there's no way I would ever enjoy a map like this. Now, I'm not skilled enough with a... A mouse and keyboard to... Be able to perform... Uh, a lot of these actions. But as I'm, I'm coming to find out as I go here, you know... Well, in this instance, I, I kind of botched that one because I wasn't really sure where to go, but... You now, I might not be as terrible at these as I originally thought. Oh, I think I had to go up here. There we go. But, you know, I'm really... I've really been enjoying this map. I've, I've never done a parkour map. I've never... Yeah, I've never done a parkour map before. No, that's a lie. I've done one parkour, parkour map before. Uh... The... What's it called? Oh my. Oh, gee willikers. That sure was a frustrating how I fell off that thing. Oof. <laughs> I almost stopped running. I'm really trying to think of what the hell that map was called. It, you'll hear me say this a lot, you know. It was a MiG-5 map. Damn it. But I can't think of what it was. It was Planet Draenor or something like that. But I that I did that years ago, like right when my right when I first created the channel. Well, maybe not right when I created the channel, but definitely within like the first year or two of. Well, I just stopped running there. Definitely within the first year or two of being a YouTube channel, I played that map. Yeah, and I recall. Not being very good at parkour. I'm still not going to go out and say that I'm good at parkour. Rat. But, uh... Well, I would say I'm okay at parkour, but it's going to be... I think my death total is so high because of... You know, just some levels or... You just get stuck on some, on some levels, right? Rat. Ooh. Wait, no, I pretty much just screwed myself there. There we go. So I, I might, I might, you know, put parkour maps into my repertoire of things that I'm going to. Oh, ha, 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 made that jump, boy! But I might start throwing parkour maps into my uh, repertoire of things that I do, as far as Minecraft map goes. Traditionally, I've been a that's the word I'm looking for. I've been a 
I've been an adventure map player. Because I want to... Because I want to, you know, deal in the story and stuff of, uh, of a map. Really get into the... Uh, Oh, I butchered that one. Really get into the nitty gritty of, uh, I want to have a story, I want to have adventure, I want to have mobs to fight. I never thought that, uh, hardcore I would find that interesting. Well, that is until I experienced, uh, this map, obviously. This has definitely changed a lot of my, uh, ooh, this has definitely changed a lot of my preconceived notions about, uh, parkour maps, so I'm definitely enjoying this map. I would... I think I would do another parkour map. So if uh, you know, I, you know, I'll look for. I guess at this point, I'll uh, I'll do puzzle maps. I'll do parkour maps. I think the only maps that I won't necessarily do are just straight survival, custom survival maps. Even then, I don't know if there is enough requests for one, I might do it. I recall watching a YouTuber many, many years ago. Uh, his name was Ant Venom. Uh, Kind of one of the, what I would call an old school uh, Minecraft channel. Uh, very popular back in the early days of uh, YouTube. It was, uh, there we go. He did a map, uh, Ant Farm Survival or Ant, Ant something or other survival. Like Ant Farm Survival and it was insanely good. What's this? What is this map? Or, I'm sorry, not map. This is a parkour map. We've already long established that. Is this an adventure map? No, this is an adventure map. What is this level? There we go. Is this like a industrial navigation level or something? Breaking kneecaps. I've always thought it'd be kind of cool to have my own Minecraft map, but again, I kind of lack the... Uh, I, would I would call it the expertise and the creativity to do such a thing. Go from here. I'm here. Shoot. I, I still always thought it'd be kind of cool to have, like, a map. Maybe one day. This one's actually, this part of the map's actually, this one's kind of tough, actually. Ooh. Where do I go from here? Made that jump. Oh, I'm trying to get here. I stopped running there. I thought I was going to have to redo that whole thing all over again. I love the variety of this map, too. So I, I'm definitely enjoying adventure. I'm definitely enjoying this. Like, I, I feel like I can just unplug my brain for a while and just, <laughs> and just play Minecraft. Like an adventure map, I feel like I got to be very engaged in what's going on. I got to be thinking all the time. Um, I do a lot of thinking for, for work, you know, I, I kind of discussed that in a previous video. I have a very think-heavy job. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Uh, you can get s I've gotten so wrapped up in problems that I've been trying to solve for, uh, for our customer base that, uh, well, before I know it, you know, time to go home. I get pretty good progress. I, we are over halfway done with this. Uh, ooh, I stopped, I stopped to look at my, the timer on my laptop. I'm sorry, not on my laptop, on my OBS. Just a second, and that was just enough to distract me. We're at nine minutes about. So I, I've, you know, I always so wanted to, if anybody's still watching the video at this point, you know, another thing I wanted to ask is, you know, uh, the length of these videos, you know, I've been doing, I started doing about half hour videos. You know, I used to do like a, I used to do like 15 minute videos in like my earlier days, but I, I've kind of since, switched over to like a half an hour for my uh, video length here like is is half an hour like a good length for 
Ooh. Where do I go from here? Nice. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask, you know, is half hour like a good length for everybody? Or is, is that too long? Now, I've always been of the mindset that, you know, when I sit down, I want a nice long video to get myself vested in. I've started doing, you know, half an hour. And I'm thinking that, you know, some of my favorite YouTubers that I watch are usually about half hour episodes, you know? I figure that's a pretty good length. Uh, kind of gets you vested. You can sit down, just unplug the old brain for a while, and it's... I just feel like a half an hour is a good length. For me personally, I'm not... I'm kind of building this channel off of my own, uh, own preferences. I don't feel like I have anybody who's strongly opinionated on on level length, per se. I love this. Look, look at that. We're going from, like, from end area to another area, back to overworld, different flavors of overworld. Like, this is such a cool map. Nope, nothing. Ooh, could I? <laughs> I wonder if that actually works if I set my respawn point there. There we go. Ooh, ice. This is kind of hard to jump on. So if you're, I think if you're standing on ice. You actually jump further. So what I've done in, uh, why do I say what I've done? Um, I say what I've done in the, damn, that's damn unfortunate. How did I miss that? What, did I, what was I thinking on that jump? Wait, where am I going on this? Okay, so I come here, jump here. Is that my jump? Ow. No, that is not my jump, actually. That is... That is bad. That was a bad jump. That was a bad move. That was better. You see, it was better because I actually made it. I keep seeing that out of the corner of my eyes, the, the starting island. And it kind of looks like a smiley face to me. I don't know why. Let's put a smile on that face. So, uh, you know, kind of another little side story here. One of my... Uh, one of my uh, dreams in life, or not really so much a dream, but uh, aspiration? An aspiration of mine, you know, I've, I've, uh, when I, I used to do, like, a little bit of narration work for, or I, I didn't do narration work. I became kind of enamored with, uh, with, uh, narration. I, I used to do some work for some, I used to do some community management for some, uh, YouTube channels back in the day. And uh, I kind of became enamored with, uh, with uh, the idea of doing narration or doing voiceover work. One of the one of the channels was heavy on doing narrations and kind of fun documentary documentary esque videos. Super awesome content. Uh, anyways, um, I kind of became, I kind of, I'm I, enamored. It's not the right word, but. Uh, I I wanted to become like do voiceovers, uh, do narration, that sort of thing. On like a on like a, but actually be like paid for it. I've done a few little bit parts for some stuff before, but no, everything I've ever done is was paid. I'm I'm a firm believer in you know the semi firm believer in once you start getting paid, it becomes a job. Wait. Did I? Oh, I think I made that jump too early. Probably the easiest jump, and I made it just too early. No, 
and you know, long story short, I'm kind of getting ass backwards to this. I've always, I've kind of wanted, I would love to, maybe one day in the future, be a professional voiceover, uh, professional, uh, do professional voiceovers for a living. Or actually, I would go so far as to even say, I would want to be, a, I would love, is that jump makeable? Oh no, I think I'm going about it wrong. I'm, I'm trying to make that jump too early. Oh, just I'm trying to make that jump. I, I know what I got to do now. Make that jump for one. Shoot. But I think it would be really cool to be to be a voice actor. Um, I'd... Shit, I'd even, I'd even go so far as to say it would be really cool to do anime dubs. Of course, then I'd have to live in California, and that's a whole other set of things I don't want to get into, but... Oh, shoot. Am I thinking of... Am I going about this jump the right way? Ooh. But uh, I'd say, you know, for the last uh, three to five years... No, I'd say for the last... Actually, no, five years. I, I, think, it, I think it would be... I've always thought it'd be, like, the coolest thing... To do voiceovers. Or not voiceovers. Be like, yeah, do like, be a voice actor or do, uh... Oh, here we go. Or, yeah, be a voice actor. Um, I'm even to the point where I'm considering uh, taking lessons, even. To, uh, and maybe to begin building up those kind of relationships. Uh, I, I've... I wouldn't say I've always been an anime fan, but uh, I definitely say that I have a. Uh... Is that the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. I, you know, I I've been enamored by. Uh... Not enamored again. I I've been. You know, for the last five years, I always thought it'd be, like, the coolest thing to do, to do voiceover work and be a part of, like, a cast and things. Uh, from a, from a personal standpoint, I've always been a, I've always been a, a techie. I've always been the guy kind of in the, in the background making sure. Right, where did I go? Oh, here's where I gotta go. Wait, no, I don't have to go there. Where do I have to go? Come here, can't get up there because that's in the way. So I jumped over here. I've tried to jump over there anyways. So like uh, I used to do I used to do a, a whole bunch of uh, of teching for uh, musicals. I was on the tech crew. Uh, you know, the the guy who, you know, always makes sure Wait, do I have to double back? I do. No, I don't. What? Am I lost? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Wait, am I? No, I think I have to go this way. No, I don't. Yes, no. Yes? No. Did I need to double back on... Oh, there's a slime block there! Aha! That was unique. I, like, stopped running there. What the hell? But I did need to head over here. But I needed to jump on the tree. That's so cool. That is super cool. I have never seen... Well, I have seen stuff like that before, but... Still very unique. Oh. But, you know, I've, I've always been a... I've always been like a tech crew guy. Kind of sitting in the background, you know, making sure shit, uh, shit works. And, uh... 
know, your 30 second bow there at the end, you know, any person who's worked tech crew kind of gets it. Uh, never really, never really, while I did like tech, doing tech crew, I never feel like tech crew gets the respect that tech crew deserves for the amount of work that tech crew does. As it, it takes a lot of work to get into, and I get it, you know, actors are, you know, the actors have to be talented to, uh, nice, to make the show successful, or, you know, without actors, we would be, there wouldn't be a show. How do I make this jump? How do you make this jump? Oh, like that. Oh, I'm here. Where do I go? Oh, it's just a, it's just a tough jump to make. Okay. Where was I going? I was talking about tech crew, right? Yeah, tech crew. I I love doing I love doing tech crew. I I loved actually I actually uh, my high school. The high school that I tech crewed at, I actually, I accidentally, I actually came back for a year. So what happened was, I was going to go advise on the robotics team, and I, I was going to go be an advisor on the robotics team. I need to jump that a bit early. Oh, I have to make that from here. I was going to go advise on the robotics team since I had all kinds of experience with the uh, at that point, at least a year of automation experience. There we go. So I I also heard that uh, my best friend's dad was the uh, the tech director at the time. So I came back to. Uh... Oh, I stopped running there. Shoot, this is gonna be one that I get stuck on for a while. I just know it. There we go. So my best friend's dad was actually tech director that year. Um, I think he decided to do it like one more year or whatever. Both of his, uh, both my, both his, uh, both of his kids were out. My best friend and his sister were out of high school. So uh, I honestly don't know why he came back for that additional year, but. Uh, I think deep down he liked it, but uh, you know, I, I accidentally showed up for the first day of uh, of tech. Believe it or not, yes, I sh I accidentally showed up for the first day of tech. It was my uh, freshman year of college. Yeah, and I accidentally showed up for the first day of tech. I I ended up just wanting to go down there and say hi to my best friend's dad. You know, the super cool dude, super hilarious man. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? It is what I think it is. I think I gotta jump on the cactuses. I would even go as far as to say, this guy isn't a man that you meet. This is a man that you go and you experience. Like you don't, uh... And I'm not saying you experience him in a negative way, no. Like he is just a super cool dude. Super hilarious, super hilarious guy. You don't meet this man, you experience this man. And so I go, I show up for the, I accidentally showed up for the first day of, of what would have been Tech Crew, and he asked me, hey, you've joined him for us for one more year? I was like, sure, what the hell? So I, uh, so that's how I accidentally joined Tech Crew. Okay, I think I know how to make that jump now. That's how I accidentally joined my high school tech crew outside of high school. So then after that, I uh, I swore it off. Like, no, I can't do tech crew anymore. Um, I gotta leave high school in the past. And so I stopped for like two years. So then one of my buddies who ended up, who I had worked tech crew with, he ended up uh, taking over. He sends me a text, hey, I need help this year. You want to come back? This was two years after, and I was kind of feeling the bug. And I was like, sure, I'll come back. And I ended up teching for him for one year. 
And then he I actually ended up teching with him for two years. Nice, I made that. No! I gotta make that ridiculous cactus jump again? Are you kidding me? Anyways, so I I came back, tech for him for a few years. And, uh, you know, he left and a new guy came who I had never worked with before. I think the school district hired him. I was just, at that point, I was just an adult volunteer. I just did it to, you know, uh, kind of hang out with the... Just kind of hang out, you know. It was a it was a social thing for me. I'm I'm kind of an anti. I'm kind of an anti-social. What is it? I am a. How did I put it? I am an introvert with extrovert tendencies. That is the best way that I can describe myself. So I am perfectly happy just sitting at home doing nothing. But on occasion, I think it's a good idea to leave the house. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so, on occasion, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, that's basically the most apt description. On occasion, I think it's a good idea to leave the house. Uh, you know, there's... My best friend, he's definitely, like... Oh, nice, I can spawn on the bed. Sick. He's definitely what I would call pro-social. He is very... He is a very sociable person. Uh, he has made it his mission in life to make me social as well. Um, it's not going to happen, but, you know. Hell, if he wants to try, I'm going to let him try. So, I I definitely... But on occasion, you know, I do get the, uh, the urge to go out and party. Um, I do a pretty good job at suppressing that urge, you know, most of the time. But every once in a while, it's like... It's like the Grinch. Uh, I suppose I should get some social activity. So it's, uh, you know, super fun. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, again, if he wants to try and make me social, I'll let him. I'll let him try. But, uh, no, I'm just not all for... I keep... Stop ru I stop running there. I'm not all for uh, party culture, really. There we go. Yeah, I can make it if I can just... Not hit that stupid wall either. I would I would say I don't relate with a lot of my generation. A, a lot of people my age are you know out partying still and nope, not me. Not for me. I've never been a I've never been a huge party animal. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about Minecraft and how this map is n this part of the. This is like killing me right now. I suppose it was about time I I. Entered into a roadblock. There we go. That was way too early, and I knew that the second I hit jump. But lo and behold, I decided to do it anyways. And I nearly butchered it there. See, I stopped running there for no reason. Glass, like, if I bump into glass, I'd, like, that's anti-running material? Like, I did it again. And then I didn't even jump. Somehow I didn't make that one. There we go. Ooh, this is frustrating. This is actually upsetting me. Not as much as that stupid... There we go. You see that? I, like, stopped running twice. I don't know why. Wait, what? Hey. What? Is this not the path? Is 
Is that jump makeable? Am I missing something here? I don't see another path. That jump even pop it. And that ha must have to be like a frame perfect jump. There we go. Some of these jumps, I just do like the wild and craziest shit, and then other ones that, you know, should be pretty easy, like that one, for example, I just fail miserably at. Oh no. Don't want to jump on tiki torches. But that looks like I don't have a choice in the matter. Do I even jump to that one? And then I realized how long this video is getting, so this will be the final level. Oofta. At least I was able to recover there. Accidentally hit a wall there. No, I don't think that jump is possible. But it has to be, doesn't it? Nope. Well, if it is, I'm not going to do it by going that way. Nor am I going to do it by doing this. Nice. Man, I felt really good about that jump. Let's think about this here. No, that jump isn't possible, is it? There's no way. Am I trying to tackle the wrong one? Don't see any other path. I'm pretty much convinced that that jump is not possible. Oh, maybe it is. Shoot. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, the jump is possible. I'm never going to be able to make it again. Damn it. That was really close. I almost have to have a running start on... Shoot. 
Yeah, so I definitely am going to need a running start on that. What the hell? Why can I not suddenly make this jump? Psyching myself out too much. I think that's what's going on. I say that as I proceed to, my character proceeds to stop running. Damn it. All right. Let's try this again. I feel like that, these jumps are not fair. But that could also be the point. So this is level 47. Oh, shoot. I'm actually almost done. I can't believe it. I got pretty far this episode. I really wanted to split this up into at least four, four episodes. I'm still thinking that's what I might do. Just too exact of a jump, man. Not like the trick that I can do with the with the first one where I just keep running. Damn it. I hate how exact of a jump this this one seems to need to be, that this one needs to be. I don't pride myself on accuracy. Yeah, this one's definitely got to be a running jump. Did you see that? It stopped running, like in... I stopped moving. You see that? I did it again. Fuck. Call of Duty players blame it on lag. I blame it on my character legitimately stops fucking running. <clears throat> that one felt real good. Like that one felt really, really good. That time I didn't jump, I hit my head on something. That feels so good. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. When we come back next time, we're, we're going to finish this monstrosity. We don't have much left to go. We have 12 more levels and we're done. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.